Hey guys, so today I want to go over a brand new visualization technique that I've learned that I think can be applied to soccer very well. So we're going to go over what it is and exactly how to do it. So for those of you who watched the channel for a while know that I'm big on visualization and using it to not only boost your confidence, but to help you perform better matches in other ways, to energize you through uh, four matches, and so you can kind of get an image of how you're going to play before you've even played. I found it's a technique that's worked incredibly well for me in the past, and many players have told me that it's worked incredibly well for them. Well, today I want to bring you a brand new visualization technique that I learned through watching a person called Kyle Cease, who you should definitely look up if you don't know who he is already. And the great thing about this technique is it takes maybe five, seven to 10 minutes to do it. So essentially the idea is you're going to pick a day and you're going to pretend that it's a year later and you're going to reflect upon that day. So let's say right now, um, I'm thinking about right now and it's a year later and I'm thinking back to this moment right now. I'm going to go over everything that I've accomplished um, between that moment, which is now, and that moment in the future. So I'm going to try and explain this clearly. It's a bit difficult to explain, um, but here's my attempt at explaining this. So we're going to pretend essentially when doing this, that this moment we're in right now is actually a year from now, or actually more specifically, the moment you're in right now happened a year ago, and that you're standing or sitting or wherever you are right now, uh, going over what has happened between those two moments. Now, you don't have to use a year, you can use this for a day, or a week, or a month. You know, the time frame can be different. So let me give you a very easy example. Let's do one day. So what I would do is I would pretend that today actually happened yesterday, and I'm sitting right here talking about what's happened in between those two days. And you would do the same thing for whether it's a week, a month, or a year, or however long you want it to be. So for example, if I want to do a month for about five minutes, what I will do is set a timer and I will go over everything without even thinking of what I've done in that month. So let me give you an example. Let's say um, I'm doing it from that perspective that it's been a month and right now this day a month has passed since what this day actually is. So a month ago I was making this video. What has happened in the month um, from my making this video? So I might start and I would do this completely from the heart. So I'll do one for you right now which is completely unscripted. I'm not thinking of anything ahead of time. I'm just going to do it completely from intuition and whatever comes out. So here's the example. So a month ago, I made that video on a new visualization technique that I learned from Kyle Cease and I thought it would apply to soccer players greatly. And since that day, a month has gone past and in that month, some amazing things have happened. That video itself is helping so many players who have actually committed to doing that technique and trying that technique out. And they've been messaging me, telling me that they've been using this technique to help them play better matches, to help them get more training in, to help them be better in their training. They've told me their confidence has gone up and that this technique has been absolutely incredible for them. Since that point, I've stuck, in, uh, stuck to my promise of making videos directly from my heart and intuition instead of doing it just for the numbers. And I've been making videos like that and I'm getting more and more messages from players who are saying that these videos are resonating with them so much. Um, and as a result, my channel is still starting to grow, but I'm making sure that it's the secondary thing that I want for my channel. And the first thing that I want to happen is to make sure I'm making videos that I like and I'm passionate about and that come from the heart. And that's what I've been doing um, over the last month since I made that visualization video. And the greatest thing, again, is that I've been having such an impact with this one video. It's amazing how one video can have such an impact and help so many people. And the amount of players that are reaching out to me, telling me that it's helping them is overwhelming and it's so great. And in that time period, I've also made some other really powerful videos. Again, just from my intuition, just from my heart, not ones that were from my head or were made just to get views. And people have been telling me how much they have been helped by those videos, by doing the techniques I've put in those videos, the practices or the drills, and it's been absolutely incredible. I've been feeling great all month. I've been getting closer to myself, connecting with more people, helping more people, and it's just been absolutely fantastic. So that's an example of what you can do. Now, the thing is, I, I'm not going to 
Um, that wasn't thought up ahead of time. That's all just what came out. So a really important thing when doing this practice, and that may have seemed gushy and a bit, you know, um, cheesy to an extent, but it's what was inside. And it's very important you do it in this manner. So for example, if you have a game coming up, you could do it for that. You could be like, I was in that game. I had such a great game. You know, I played so well. You know, I played to the best of my ability, worked hard, you know, worked my week, whatever it is. You could go over a whole week of your training. So let's say, you're, you're gonna be like, I'm looking back to that time um, when, I, uh, when I was doing this uh, visualization technique and a week has passed since then and I had one of the best training weeks of my life. I've, I've noticed so many weaknesses in my game that I need to work on and started working on them. I don't know what it is for you. Again, this is gonna be different for everyone because it's all coming from here. It's not coming from here. It's not your, what your mind wants because the thing is, your mind can't really completely fathom how what the possibility of things are like a month from now your life could be completely different um, you have no idea but by trying to control the situation by trying to say this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen and that's gonna happen and that's gonna happen you prevent other things from coming to you that would potentially come to you if you just let go and let them come. So guys, I know um, this is a very interesting technique um, and it's definitely a visualization technique, but I ask you to definitely try it out for maybe just a week. Do it for five to 10 minutes every day for a week. Again, the great thing about it is it only takes five to 10 minutes. You can do it for just the five to 10 minutes each day. You don't need to do it for an hour or anything like that. And you can mix this with another visualization technique you're doing if you're currently doing a different visualization technique because um, I know many of you have been doing them and getting great results from it. So definitely give this a try. You don't have to start off so extreme. Like I've been doing it for a year. Um, you can do it for a month, a week, even just a day. Um, start off with a day if you want and then move on if you want. But again, just let yourself release, let everything come out and you'll be surprised by some of the things you say as well. All right guys, so I hope that is helpful. Again, this I hope I did a good job of explaining that because I know it's a bit difficult to explain. Um, but essentially, you know, you're gonna pick like today as if it's in the past and you're now standing here having that much time passed and you're going over everything that's happened in that time. And again, you're not thinking about it. You're not thinking what's happened if a year was to have gone by, what will I have want to happen? It's not strategic. You're not strategically doing this. You're just letting it out. Right, like I played in that game and I got the MVP award. I, you know, I, I won a tro whatever it is. Right, you're just gonna let it come through. So I can't really give you an example of exactly how it's gonna be. You're just gonna let what comes out come out, um, and it's a great way to also kind of see what you truly want sometimes. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I also want to thank the, uh, everyone who watched my video yesterday with the uh, channel update and for the support I've been getting um, since making that video with you guys, you know, being very, very understanding about it. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. Just uh, know that I really, really, really appreciate that. So thank, uh, thank you guys so much. Definitely like, share, and sub if you're new. Um, and if, if you're not new, like and share if you want. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.